The Washington Post reporting that special counsel Robert Mueller told President Trump's attorneys that the president isn't a criminal target in the Russia probe. So what is Mr. Mueller looking for? Joining us right now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Okay, so uh, in the last 48 hours, people have been saying a subject target. Right, is right. one good? Is one bad? Right, without getting too much in the weeds, a target means they are going to indict you. And before, before they in indict trouble. you, yeah, they give you the opportunity to come in and try and pursue persuade them why they shouldn't. He is not a target. He is not at this moment a target. I say at this moment because this can change depending upon what evidence comes to them. So a subject is somebody who is um, uh, the topic of an ongoing criminal investigation that has not yet ended. So as much as I want the president to be able to be president and not have this on his back, I encourage him not to relax and not to rejoice. They are still pursuing things. There is a theory that this statement was made by Bob Mueller in an offhanded way so that people like the rest of us would talk about it and the president would have a false sense of security mm -hmm. and going into the interview. Oh, don't worry, you're not a target, just come and talk to you. Stay away from that, Mr. President. That interview environment is extremely dangerous. If he's a subject and not yet a target and they want him to become a target, they're going to ask him questions, the answers to which will move him into that target category. They're looking mm -hmm. at two oligarchs one of which was stopped when he landed in New York. Yes. And uh, they went and talked to him, and they, they searched him. They asked to search for his electronics, his phone. Wow. That means... Are they allowed to do that? that that's uh, hardball, Brian, but that means they went to a federal judge and explained to the federal judge the type of work I used to do, though I was a state judge, uh, why they needed a search warrant. I mean, they can't stop somebody, even though he's Russian and not American. They still need a search warrant to stop him in the United States. He's lawfully here. And to look at his uh, electronic uh, equipment with him, his iPad, his iPhone, et cetera. So I would love to see what they told that federal judge was the reason they needed this search warrant to, to stop this guy. They are on to something with respect to Russia. And my column this morning, I talk about the three things uh, they're looking at. So-called collusion, which is really a, a conspiracy, an agreement to accept something from the Russians. Even if never delivered, the agreement is the mm -hmm. crime. They're also looking at obstruction of justice. Was James Comey fired for a, a law enforcement purpose or a, a corrupt purpose? Then they're looking at uh, financial misdeeds, alleged financial misdeeds committed by Mr. Donald Trump in the years before he was president. But this conspiracy thing with the Russians has been fueled up since Rick Gates pleaded right. guilty and has become their source for who sure. in Russian intelligence was communicating with the campaign. Uh, Judge, what did you make of these uh, news reports that apparently there's word that he could, he, Mr. Mueller, might wrap things up by June? I don't think so. Uh, well, that you know, it depends on Manafort. Listen, there was a report yesterday that Manafort's lawyers were negotiating with uh, with Mueller's lawyers. That would be unbelievable. It would be probably bad for the president. God knows what, what Manafort would offer to give them sure. in order to, to resolve uh, a, a plea in his case. I don't think it's over by June. I think it goes into 2019. Uh, looking at his financial records before he was president, what exactly do you think they're looking for? Whether or not he did business with Russia or... Well, they... Yes. They're, they're looking at relations with Russian oligarchs who today are the subject of sanctions. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're looking at representations made to his principal lender, which was Deutsche Bank. So they not only have a Trump organization financial records, they have Deutsche Bank lending records. Deutsche Bank was his go-to lender in the years that he was doing all the uh, development here in New York City. And uh, if they try to... Uh, indict the president on how he bought a Scottish golf course or a New Jersey uh, casino, there is going to be a divide in this country like we've never seen before. Could not agree with you more. Could not agree with you more, Brian. It, it would be so beyond the pale. In fact, the Scottish golf course is probably beyond the statute of limitations. I don't think he has to worry about that one. All right. Judge, thank you very much for yeah, joining us. You're welcome, Thanks, guys. Judge. Right. Who would ever want to run for president now? They should <laughs> right. everything. I haven't, yeah. I've never bought a Scottish golf course, just right. say. They'd uh, find something. Yeah, I'm, now I'm not. Uh, it is one of the biggest political cover-ups of all time. Now the story about what happened the night Ted Kennedy drove off a bridge, how he got away with it. That story in just a moment. It's 99 cent kids nights at Golden Corral. Now kids eat and drink for just 99 cents under a